Hello and welcome to Straight Talk Real Estate Reality with Joe and Darren of Urban Hillsides Real Estate here to answer your pressing questions on real estate with hopefully some great answers. We want to help. So today, Darren, we got the question from a client, how do I choose a lender? I'm confused. So big topic. Let's try to break it down. Sure. So there are many categories of lenders. Mm. Uh, to simplify it, I'd probably put it into five categories. There are uh, the big banks, uh, credit unions, there are internet lenders, there are the mid-size direct lenders, mm -hmm. and then there are mortgage brokers. Got it. All right. Uh, and from there, just give them a little definitions. Sure. Pros and cons of each. Right. Um, so... If you're buying a house, and it's different if you're refinancing, mm. but if you're bu if you're buying, um, the the banks have very defined systems. You can imagine it's a it's a, a big institution, uh, and they have systems that have to be followed, uh, which can can delay the process at times and make it a little more difficult to navigate. Right. So that's I, I was going to say there too. You know, uh, it's very natural to pick a big bank. Perhaps you've got your checking account with them, you're doing other business with them, they've got huge marketing muscle, and it's very obvious why you would do that. But it's more than just exchanging and getting a loan on money, especially with real estate. Right. Uh, it's, it's an important, it's an aggressive market and a very important aspect of getting uh, a property. Mm. Um, is, is, is having a good lender that will close the transaction. And often, uh, more experienced agents recognize that it's more of a struggle mm. with uh, a larger bank and lender. Got it. Let me on to credit unions. Um, they also have very uh, defined systems that can be more difficult to navigate. Right. Sometimes you have might, might have some more local representation that will make you feel more connected in the process. Right. Uh, next, internet lenders, um, you know, little marketing. They're definitely aggressive on, on rates. No skin in the game, though, and probably the lowest closing ratio. Oof, yeah. And, uh, you know, agents will recognize that when they're, when they're considering offers to accept. Got it. Uh, next, midsize uh, banks, lenders, seem to be more, uh, typically more connected to a community. Um, they focus a lot on relationships with agents, which make the process go better and more likely for your offer to be accepted if they're known in a community in general. Last, mortgage brokers. That cycles back to the big banks. Typically, they are shopping your loan from a large pool, uh, and then they're another layer in the process. Right. So that's the key, right? We don't want as many layers as sometimes these entities want. We want to have direct connection, skin in the game, accountability, reputation, all those things make a lot of sense when you're shopping and looking for the right lender. So anything else about the ideal lender? Sure. Uh, you know, the local connected lender is going to have local appraisers that they know and have worked with who understand the diversity of, you know, we sell a lot of homes in the hills and older homes. Uh, and how to properly appraise these properties. Right. Uh, so that's really important. Right. And that's the thing. I mean, just the bottom line of all this is, look, we're in a seller's market, uh, multiple offers on the same property, and these big distinctions make, make sense if you're on the seller's side and it's an equal offer. Uh, who's that lender? And who's going to really close the deal? It's a make or break. Two equal offers, one uh, with... Uh, a large mm. bank lender, one with mid-sized direct, and there's a relationship, the, the lender itself will be the decisive factor. There you go. All right, guys. So if you have more questions on uh, choosing the right lender, let us know. We'll be happy to assist. We do have our own preferred lenders that we can refer to you and start your own conversation with them. And, uh, you know, that's it. That, that's really the, the beginning to a successful transaction is finding the right lender. So, again, 
Thank you for joining us. Another thrilling edition of Straight Talk Real Estate Reality. We'll see you next week. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye.